people who can fall asleep within 8 seconds of their head hitting their pillow. How the fuck do you fall asleep within 8 seconds of your head hitting your pillow? That's my secret cap. I'm always tired. I'm surprised this isn't closer to the top. I'm always tired and can fall asleep no problem. And I thought a lot of people were like that. But I'm just now realizing that maybe I have a problem. Stay awake until you fall asleep in the couch. Then groggily walk to the bed when you inevitably wake up. I'm usually more awake at that point than before I napped. I'm a firefighter and my one partner says what he likes least about me is my ability to fall asleep so fast after returning from a call. It helps to be physically tired. Much easier to fall asleep when your body has been engaged in physical activity during the day. I try to lay perfectly still. And not allow myself to scratch my nose if it itches. For example. I just ignore the itch and next thing I know. It's time to get up. I just discovered that there are people with an inner monologue and this voice in their head allows them to have silent discussions and worry about decisions and whatnot. I don't have this. I don't have any voices talking to me. My preference is also to listen to a documentary on YouTube or Netflix. I set my timer on my phone to stop playing after 20 minutes and rarely stay awake till the end. I am very well versed on the first 10 minutes of World War II. What's it like when you think thoughts then? Do you hear them? I never knew there were people without internal monologues. He obviously is an NPC. Just doing what the script says apparently lol. My brother is one of these people. And I asked him this recently. Him. The trick is a clean conscience. I got nothing to think about. Me. How do you not think about anything? Him. I don't know. I just stop thinking. He's 16. Not thinking is the key. I had to train myself to completely clear my mind. Start by cutting inner monologues. Imagine you were born deaf and think primarily in images. Then cut those and just focus on what you feel. The last step is to tune out those sensations. In the beginning. You will only be able to sustain it for a couple seconds. But you'll be able to go longer with time. Eventually. It'll be second nature. In the beginning. My primary goal was to remove the stress of my life for a moment through meditation. But it ended up being a useful way to fall asleep. Also. I don't remember the last time I've woken up in the middle of the night. The only downside is that I sleep like the dead and never dream. I just close my eyes as if to blink and when I open them back up. It's morning and my wife is pissed that I missed my alarm. This is what I call my straight vibing state of mind. That's what I call it when we break out the Hitachi. Those are for medical massage only. It's okay. She's a nurse. I turn on Netflix. Or Hulu. To a show I've seen a million times. I turn away from the screen and fall asleep. The key is that it can't be something you need to pay attention to. Works like a charm for me. I did this only with shows I thought were stupidly boring. One single episode of Star Trek Voyager lasted me six weeks. Only problem is I eventually became a fan. Am now a proud Trekkie. And the bloody shows can't put me to sleep anymore because they're too interesting. My friend does this. We'll be playing video games. Then he'll suddenly be tired and good night. Literally seconds later I can hear him snoring in his room. Like your friend. I also can sleep right away. I've been teased about it a lot growing up. But seeing as how I'm in the minority of people. I must assume that would be because of envy. I'm not sure if other people like me are like this but I don't have an inner monologue that distracts from my sleep time. Dude. You have no idea how many people want to sleep like you do. For me personally it would be like a dream come true. 
I've had so many sleepless nights even when I would be extremely exhausted from lots of physical or mental activity that day. It's just awful. The smallest. Insignificant thing. Can keep me up thinking. Worrying or panicking about just enough to not let me sleep. I rarely fall asleep within one hour. Usually it's between one to two hours. I hate it because I could be a much better person without these issues. You're a lucky guy. Edit. Typo. Added info. I've been diagnosed with added pie nowadays three years ago and take medications. The sleeping problems were just the same before the diagnosis though. Which was part of the reason why I got diagnosed in the first place. Me sleep. I rarely fall asleep urban one hour. Usually it's between one to two hours. I hate it because I could be a much better person without these issues. My dude. You might want to listen to audiobooks at night. They completely immerse you in a story. I used to be a total insomniac because of racing thoughts. Audiobooks change the game. Audiobooks change the game. I would recommend against the Necronomicon audiobook. I would not. Lovecraft Stories makes excellent audiobooks. Yes. Especially the ones I found that are read in a fairly monotonous voice. Just don't dream about Shalu and you'll be fine. Uh. What happens if you do dream of Shalu? Asking for a friend. Honestly not much. Mostly just makes the tentacles in my beard tickle. Man I have insomnia and none of this shit works. I always laugh at the responses to these. Because most of them are a chicken or the egg situation. Insomniacs don't have trouble sleeping because they look at a screen before falling asleep. We look at a screen in bed because we know how miserable it is to literally lay in a pitch black room with nothing but white noise for 7 straight hours and never fall asleep. We don't have a schedule because of our insomnia. We don't have insomnia because we don't have a schedule. We work out at night. Because we spend the morning still trying to fall asleep. When we work out in the morning. It means we don't sleep at all for 48 hours. We have tried. Just don't think about anything. We've tried no screens. We've tried relaxing voices slash sounds slash podcasts. We've tried meditation. We've googled every possible thing to learn how to fall asleep. We've tried whatever bullshit herb or sleep aid is popular this week. That shit just doesn't work. It's not our faults. Our brains are just idiots. I remember when my sleep therapist gave me the advice that if you've been lying in bed for an hour and still can't fall asleep, get up and do something productive that doesn't cause blue light. E.g. Sweep your kitchen. And try again in an hour to sleep. It was summer holidays so I had 8 weeks off from work I work in a school which meant no commitments. I decided to truly let my body decide when it wanted to sleep. I tried practicing perfect sleep hygiene exactly as prescribed. I didn't notice an improvement in my sleep schedule. I'd be awake at the weirdest hours of the night. But when I was actually tired, I'd fall asleep easily. And more importantly I woke up feeling rested. Unfortunately that could mean sleeping from 3 a.m. to 11 p.m. on Monday. Having a 90 minute nap at 1 p.m. on Tuesday then sleeping from 4 p.m. to 1 a.m. on Wednesday. And that's not something I can do during the working week. Every day was different. After two months I brought my sleep diary back to her and she took one look and said oh. You don't have insomnia and sleep deprivation related crashes like we like you have a circadian rhythm disorder she sent me for further testing to confirm. But yet. My internal body clock is set to shuffle. No amount of don't drink coffee after midday is going to fix a congenital neurological condition. And idiopathic insomnia is also technically a neurological condition. But melatonin sure helps. I've had so many lay people tell me oh. Careful with taking melatonin every night. Prolonged use can destroy your body's ability to fall asleep without it um. 
My body's ability to fall asleep naturally was already fucked. My doctor prescribes my medication and I'll trust them. With my current dose. I can fall asleep within 20 minutes of hitting the pillow. No matter what time it is. It doesn't help me stay asleep. But I've never had issues with that. I'm a deep sleeper. Other than owning a small bladder. I have delayed sleep phase syndrome which more or less means I am nocturnal. Can't sleep during the night no matter how hard I try. And trying makes me miserable. It doesn't help at all with falling asleep. My brain is too stupid for that. D but knowing my circadian rhythm is off made my stress levels yaaai lower than before I knew. Everyone kept trying to fix my sleep schedule. You would feel so much better if you slept at normal. Consistent hours. Surprise surprise. That's actually not true at all. Gotta listen to what your body tells you. And some of our bodies say. When the sun goes down. I come up. Now I have a fairly consistent sleep schedule of 5 am to 4 pm. And it works well for me. But even the sleep specialist I saw said. Most people have to work their life around their sleep. Not their sleep around their life. So if I get a job. Get the night shift XD. I wonder if we naturally have variations in sleep schedule or if something is a little out of line in your brain. Like you'd be the perfect guy to guard the tribe at night 10. 000 years ago so from an evolutionary standpoint it makes sense to have people who sleep during the day and are awake at night. Chronic sleep deprivation. I came in here to offer some advice like think about being in a movie or video game but the more I think about it, the more I'm sure you are right. I actually do just play Elder Scrolls in my head. I just start running around in the forest somewhere thinking of some imaginary quest to do but I am always asleep before I finish the quest. Pretty view in my mind to fall asleep to though haha. For me it was a learned skill. Thank you US Army. They pushed me to work from Reveille to Taps. And only allowed for 5 to 6 hours of sleep. And I need 7 to 8. I wore an alarm watch. Any break during the day. Oh I have 25 minutes. Set alarm watch. Prop against a tree or lay down anywhere I could. Bam asleep. My wife is still amazed at how I do it. I used to be an aircraft mechanic in the military. I was in a tug pickle used to tow aircraft waiting for another shop to finish a low power turn engine are running. I was maybe 10 to 15 feet away from the aircraft. Sitting in the tug. All that noise and still managed to take a 45 minute nap and woke up as soon as the engines shut down. I'm pretty sure they ran the engines up to 75% power and still slept right through it all. We must be related. I can fall asleep anywhere. Anytime. For as long as I can. My dad has fallen asleep while building fences. Hit it hard enough. On this bed. Nailed it. I love you. No. I love you. No. I love you. No I love you. Guys. Get your own damned bed. I'm a lifelong insomniac but my sister could fall asleep on her way to the pillow and sleep through the car going over train tracks. I wake up if a mouse farts across the street. I never got it. Out of all the things you could say to represent a little noise. A mouse farting across the street is what you chose. I respect it. I agree with it. And I most definitely will use it in the future. Edit. 4. 0, 0, 0 upvotes and 3 silver for this. Damn it. I was almost sleep. <laughs>